Hi everyone! In this video, I am going to share a simple game that we can do in our online classes. This is best when we are having a class review in preparation for assessments. Allow me first to give you a walkthrough of how this simple game works. Later, I am going to share what are the elements I used in each slide. Maybe you would like to do the same. I will also share how you can get a copy of this in case you want to have the template so you can just change the questions that will be appropriate to your subject. For this game, here are the requirements on the teacher's side. Google Meet where all the students are in. You may also use other conferencing tools like Zoom and WebEx. Google Slides where the file is created. Suppose I already have my students in this Google Meet and I have my Google Slides opened. As the teacher, I will present the file by clicking the drop-down arrow and selecting the presenter view option. I now have two windows. One is the presentation view and the other one is the presenter view window. I will adjust both screens so it will appear side by side. Before I continue, I will go back to the Google Meet. Then click the Present Now button and select a Chrome tab. I will select the tab where my presentation view is. At this point, the students will now see the presentation view of the game. They will not be able to see the presenter view window since it is just for the use of the teacher. Let's give the general instruction to the students by clicking the How to Play button. Once done discussing this and everyone agrees with the mechanics, let's go back to the first slide by pressing the menu button. Once ready, I will go to the presenter view window. I will select the audience tools tab and select the start new button. Notice that on the presentation window, a link appeared. Each student must go to the link displayed at the top of the slide. That is where they are going to write their answer. Let me go there so you can also see what the students will see. Students may write their answer here. Now let's go back to the teacher's screen. Let's also give a clue to the students that each question is grouped into categories. For example, in my subject, questions 1, 2, and 3 are questions about battery. Questions 4, 5, and 6 are about capacitor. And the remaining questions will be about capacitance. You may change these categories to fit your subject matter. I will show the first question by clicking the circle number 1. Then as you can see, the question is now displayed on the screen. If you noticed on the right side, students' answers are received and are made visible to the teacher. After all the students have answered, or let's say after 10 seconds, I will press the Reveal Answer button. That's the time that the answer will be seen by the students. We see that this student has sent the correct answer first, so the points will be given to this student. I will record his score. I will go back to the menu. Then I will proceed to the next question, which is in circle number 2. Students will again write the answer. The first one to get the correct answer shall get the score. The menu button is again here for us to go back to the first slide. This will be done until we reach the last question. In case there is a tie, a tiebreaker will be used to determine the winner. At the end of the game, the students with the highest number of points shall be declared as the winner. The second and third placers shall be determined by the teacher too. Now, please allow me to share the elements that I used in each slide. For the first slide, this is a combination of text, shape, GIF, and animated Bitmoji. To add text, we just have to go to the toolbar and select text box. Also in the toolbar, we can find shapes. I will select an oval. To make it a perfect circle, click and drag while pressing the shift key. To add a number, just simply double click and type the number. Increase the size and change the font color.
For this GIF, I got it from Jiffy.com. Under the sticker tab, I searched for the arrow sparkle. I will copy the link. In Google Slides, I will click the insert, select image, and choose my URL option. I will paste the link and click the insert button. For this Bitmoji, this is actually optional, but I will still share how I got this. I got this on Snapchat mobile application. I recorded a few seconds of the Bitmoji filter and downloaded it. I went to unscreen.com to remove the background of the GIF. Since it's a GIF, which is still an image, I added it to the slide by going to the Insert tab, select Image, then pick Upload from Computer option. I rotated the image and cropped the unnecessary parts. Let's go to the next slide. Here we have text, shapes, GIF, and image. I will use the text box for the question. I added a rectangle shape that will act as a button. I can change its fill color and border color. I can also increase the width of the border. The caption here is reveal answer. I used the search the web feature of Google Slides for image that is related to the answer. For GIF, I got this from Jiffy.com. The keyword I used is Spark. I copied the link and insert it in the slides by going to the Insert tab, Image, then select by URL. Paste the link here and click the Insert button. The idea here is when I click the shape, it will disappear and the GIF, image, and text will appear. That's the only time we can see the answer. To do that, I will select the object that will disappear. Click the Animate tool in the toolbar. Then on the right side, I will select the Disappear option and this will happen on Click Event. For the GIF, image, and text to appear after the shape disappeared, I will first select all of them. How? Press the control key, then click individual element. That way, we will be able to put the animation effect at once. On the right side, I will choose the appear effect. Then I will pick with previous so it will automatically appear after the previous effect. For this slide to go back to the first slide where we can find the menu, I will select Pentagon from the Shape Options. I can go to the Fill Color to change its color. I can also go to the Border Color to specify what color I want. To direct this to the first slide, I will use the link tool. To do that, I will select the shape and go to the link symbol in the toolbar. Here, I will find the specific slide within the presentation, which in this case is slide 1. For the succeeding slides, I will do the same steps I did on this second slide. Suppose I'm done doing all the question slides, I will go back to the first slide to link each circle to its respective question. Circle 1 will be linked to slide 2. Circle 2 will be linked to slide 3. Circle 3 will be linked to slide 4. And this is what I'm going to do until I reach circle 9 which will be linked to slide 10. My slide 11 has the tiebreaker question, so I will link this shape to it. 
For the instruction, I will link this shape to the slide 12 where the mechanics can be found. If you want to have a copy of this file and just want to change the category and question to fit your subject matter, please go to the description box to get the shareable link. You can copy it there. I hope this video gave you an idea on how to create a simple game in Google Slides. If this is useful, please like and share with your friends. I am hoping that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Please also press the notification bell for updates of my new uploads. Thank you!